Do you wanna know how to parent a child with oppositional defiant disorder? I'm Nicolene Peck, and I teach all about parenting and good communication all over the world through the lens of the principle self-government. I also used to be a therapeutic treatment care parent for troubled teens, all of whom were non-neurotypical. Many had oppositional defiant disorder. So let's talk about how to help those non-neurotypical kids. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be talking about a little bit about my history with children who have ODD and then also why ODD is so difficult to parent, but then what you can do to successfully parent a child who has ODD. Years ago, when I went to university, I decided that I felt really called to do a special education, which usually deals with all of the non-typical types of children, the ones who just see the world differently and who interact with the world differently. And I was always intrigued by different disorders that people have. Oppositional defiant disorder is very intriguing and oftentimes misdiagnosed or sometimes it's non-diagnosed as well because it can look like so many other behaviors. Many people will say, well, I have ADHD and probably ODD, right? Because it oftentimes resembles ADHD. So sometimes rad behaviors can be ODD behaviors. So ODD, that oppositional defiant disorder, is a behavior that is tricky because the person often seems non-receptive to anyone. Now, if your child doesn't really have ODD, then they will probably listen to some people. They will follow instructions from some people, but maybe just not from you or not from maybe one other or two other key people in their lives. That means they don't have ODD. If they truly have ODD, then they are oppositional defiant to everyone. That is hard because that means that you are getting pushed back against all the time. In fact, the person may have a tendency to try many different manipulative tactics just to try to win in a debate or over a particular issue. This means the parent has to be very secure in their own skills and their own principles so that they don't get sucked into this oppositional defiant trap. Many times when parents get sucked into an oppositional defiant trap, what they do is they start power struggling with the child. Power struggling is not effective. In fact, a child who has oppositional defiant disorder thrives on power struggling. They love power struggling. They are hoping that you will engage in the power struggle so that they can pull out all of their skills or tricks. Anyway, they want to see how far they can take it and if they can win another intricate battle. Now you might wonder why would a person want to have a battle with somebody all the time? They actually don't necessarily want to. It's a habit. It's a processing habit. They question everything. Oftentimes people who have oppositional defiant disorder are very smart. And they will pick little things like, nope, that's not exactly right because of this, or that's not exactly right because of this. They are very, very high functioning usually and have quick brains. And so they will push against things because they don't feel like something was worded exactly correct. Or maybe there's an exception that somebody else didn't consider, or maybe it didn't apply to them because of this certain thing that nobody else knows about. So they will push and push and push and they create a habit of questioning and pushing and trying to find the holes in an argument or the holes in an instruction or no answer. But the other thing is they just don't want anybody else telling them what to do. They have a hard time with that. 
they feel like that goes against one of their foundational beliefs, which is they are in charge of them. They get to decide what they will and won't do. And if it doesn't serve them, they won't do it. Now, I know that sounds very narcissistic. In fact, oppositional defiant disorder can be a precursor to having a narcissistic adult later in life. So it does need to be addressed, but it's not necessarily narcissism. Sometimes a person just is so strong-willed to the point that they feel like they need to be in complete charge of themselves and they don't want anybody else to have that type of authority over them. Now, this does usually mean that a person with oppositional defiant disorder does have a problem with roles and roles is something that you have to teach them. They may not want to accept it at first, but family roles are vital for full function and full relationship health within a family. In fact, if you need help with that, I have a book for it. It's called Roles, The Secret to Family, Business and Social Success. And if the family does understand their roles better or who they are to each other in the family, they will succeed better. So having those conversations with an oppositional defiant child is going to be helpful, even though they'll probably push back against the roles as well. But just plan for that. All right, we're going to talk about what works and what doesn't work when you are parenting a child who has oppositional defiant disorder. But first, what type of behavior are you seeing that you think is oppositional defiant disorder? Put it in the comments below. I would love to get the opportunity to give you some personal help on some of the oppositional defiant behaviors that you're seeing at your house. Leave me a comment below. So first, let's be sure that we're very clear what doesn't work. Arguing, manipulating, trying to trick or control a child who has oppositional defiant disorder does not work. You have to get them to want to control themselves. This is where we hit on the topic of self-government. When a person is self-governing, they understand the cause and effect of any given situation and possess a knowledge of their own behaviors so that they can control them. So you have to create an environment where the person is seeing, I'm doing this to myself. I need to control me in order to have better outcomes. No one else can control me. I must control myself. They may not want to because they are in a habit of trying to control their problems by controlling everyone else around them or creating power struggles in order to initiate a powerful feeling so that they will take control. So what do you do to set up this environment where a person learns self-government? Well, first you have to proactively, not reactively, teach them the skills that they need for success. Some of the key skills that you teach a person for success with their own self-government are the four basic skills. These children's books right here teach the four basic skills to children. And this book here, Parenting a House United, teaches the skills as well. So what are the four basic skills that every adult or child needs? They need following instructions, accepting no answers and criticism, accepting consequences, and disagreeing appropriately. If a person learns those four basic skills, that actually takes care of 99% of their behavioral problems. It also helps them see that it is their choice to follow an instruction. It is their choice to accept a no answer. It is their choice to accept a consequence and it is their choice to disagree appropriately, which also means if things aren't going well or they need to be corrected because they aren't using those four basic skills, that also was their choice. They chose not to do it the right way and that means they have to accept cause and effect. It does require firmness to parent a child with oppositional defiant disorder. There's no um, manipulative, softy, softy way to bring somebody out of oppositional defiant disorder. If they can manipulate you and get you to baby them, then they've won. And for them, everything is a battle. So for you, it cannot be about a battle. You have to find that place of calmness within yourself and learn the skills that you need to parent them too. Effective correction skills. 
are vital. So many people correct their children, but they don't do it effectively. They do it emotionally. If you are emotionally correcting another person, especially a person who has oppositional defiant disorder, that person will fight back against you. They will start power struggling against you. So you cannot be emotional. You must be completely logical and have confidence in your ability to execute the corrections and to help them get to a place of calm if they're needing that additional assistance. That type of assistance is called intensive teaching and it's also something that is taught in this book, Parenting a House United and in my TSG parenting course. Course. Children with oppositional defiant disorder need the parenting system to be predictable. If it is predictable, they don't have as much wiggle room for manipulation. Oppositional defiant children will oftentimes try to man manipulate. They will get emotional. They'll talk back. They'll be defiant like, no, I'm not going to do that. And they'll get angry. They try lots of different tactics so that they will get out of whatever it is that they feel like they don't want to do. You have to have a solid structure in place. I took in oppositional defiant teens for many years as a treatment parent. I did therapeutic treatment care. The stuff that I teach in my TSG parenting course is exactly what I did and that was effective. That was the reason they asked me to be on the BBC program, The World's Strictest Parents. And it wasn't because I was angry, it was because I was so calm and the oppositional children in that program totally changed. They actually were oppositional defiant in behavior, but they didn't have a disorder and they were strong willed on that program. But what I did with the calmness and the skills and the training and the consistent, effective, calm corrections and helping them when they went completely out of control was actually so effective that our program became the most watched episode ever on the BBC. Calmness won out in the day. You've got to get rid of the battle mentality, go proactive, train everybody on the skills that they need and be calm. And I can help you with that. If you go to teachingselfgovernment.com, click the shop tab or store, maybe it says, I can't even remember, it's my own website, but click either shop or store and then you will see the TSG parenting course. The TSG parenting course will take you step by step through how to navigate the most difficult behaviors, how to set up the environment in your home so that you can be calm and your children can be calm too. And so that they can learn to accept your no answers and what to do if they won't or to follow your instructions and what to do if they won't. There are words that you can say that you, so that you don't have to have battles anymore. You need a new script. If you are arguing with your children and you're not getting results, then arguing is not working. Instead, they need to accept their consequences. They need to take personal responsibility for their behaviors, their words, their actions. And you've got to set up an environment that helps them do that. And self-government is the way to do it. So, Click on teachingselfgovernment.com right now and find that TSG parenting course in the store. You will not be disappointed. I'll see you there.